Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Stevie Bain. This week, we're omitting an answer to Jason's radiation concern. Our new house is 140 metres from a cell phone tower. As a family, the three of us feel like we have been affected to different degrees in terms of sleep, motivation and anxiety, which are commonly reported symptoms of exposure to microwave radiation. It's a controversial topic, but are there any major health risks with living close to a phone tower? Smartphone technology has transformed our lives in so many ways. But with the proliferation of base stations to serve our ever-increasing hunger for data, there have been understandable concerns over the safety of exposure to microwave radiation. So should we be concerned? We put the question to our listeners on the forum. Evan thinks that ironically there are fewer risks living closer to a tower because the antenna are mounted on a high point and emit radiation horizontally. Cyphrum points out the more practical dangers, saying that the only danger warning he has seen on a tower said don't stand too close in winter as large icicles fall off. But what do the experts think? We asked Tony Kent, Professor of Physics at the University of Nottingham, to shed some light on the situation. Although the word radiation is common, there are different types of radiation that affect the body in different ways. Examples being microwaves and nuclear radiation. The main hazard from microwave radiation, the kind which is emitted from phones and base stations, is heating due to the microwave shaking the molecules, which is put to good use in a microwave oven. The International Commission on Non-Ionising Radiation Protection put an upper limit of 80 milliwatts on the amount of microwave radiation per kilogram that a member of the public should be exposed to, known as the Specific Absorption Rate, SAR, which includes a safety margin of error. So how exactly does the level of radiation in our microwave ovens compare to those emitted from a phone tower? If you could squeeze yourself into a microwave oven, close the door and turn it on from the inside, you will absorb about one kilowatt of microwave radiation, which is about 200 times greater than the SAR, and not surprisingly, you would cook yourself slowly. The mobile phone mast radiates typically 100 watts. This is emitted in all directions horizontally and hits the ground about 50 metres from the mast. The exact amount of radiation you would intercept at a distance of 140 metres from the mast depends on the details of the antenna radiation pattern, but a worst case estimate would be about 100 microwatts per kilogram, well below the SAR limit and actually much less than from using your own phone, which is also well below the SAR. Thanks Tony for tapping into that topic. Next week, we're summoning a solution to this spooky Halloween head-scratcher. In the 1940s, there was a chicken that survived 18 months without a head. How long could a human survive without a head? What do you think? You can email chris at nakedscientists.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or join the debate on our forum. That's nakedscientists.com forward slash forum. And until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.